Guys, what's up? Back with another episode of Weekly Sneaker Rotations, number 19, I believe. So thank you so much for the support, as always. And if you could keep on showing up by hitting that like button and dropping a comment, that would be awesome. Starting off on Monday, I was playing basketball a little bit outside, so I wore the Nike Stutter Step N7 colorway. Picked these up for 38 bucks. You guys know the deal. Just a really nice shoe to play basketball in. Tuesday, I broke out these guys for the first time, undes them. I was actually filming the on foot video. So I just, I like them so much, I just wanted to keep them on for the rest of the day. And they're actually really comfortable, that uh, Air Max unit in the bottom, just such a comfortable shoe. It looks very, very good as well. One complaint I would have to say is that milky clear bottom is going to get very, very dirty and yellow over time, but you know that's gonna happen with clear soles, so I can't really complain too much. But the gold and man mango hits on this, very, very nice, and I'm very pleased that I picked up this shoe. Moving on to Wednesday, I undiest another pair of shoes, actually. Uh, this is the second of three pairs that I undiest this week, and this is the Nike LeBron 11 self Beach, obviously. So this was not very hyped at all. I was actually sort of surprised that they didn't sell out and whatnot, but I'm glad that they didn't because I was able to get them, and they're a very nice shoe on foot. I really like how they look. Those pink hits, I still wish they came with pink rope laces as an alternate. Thought that would be really, really cool, but they didn't, so not much I can do there. Moving on to Thursday, my third and final undiessing of this week, Air Jordan Future Premium Bread Colorway. These things are awesome. I have to say the premium colorways, or premium versions, mind you, are much more comfortable than the regular versions, just due to the suede, and uh, it's just a softer fit. In my opinion, this colorway is awesome, obviously a classic Jordan bread colorway and that translucent red outsole with those black traction pods, you can't go wrong with those. Would have to say the gold lace tips are a bit annoying, they like clunk around every time you take a step, but whatever. Moving on to Friday, uh, I had just like a birthday, a family birthday celebration type thing, it was my birthday on Saturday, but we did it on Friday so I didn't really leave the house, wore flip flops, that's that. Saturday, my actual birthday, uh, I was just out and about doing stuff, and I wore the Reebok Kamikaze 1 Sonics. Really like these, I think this is the second week in a row that I've worn these. Uh, just a nice shoe overall. Nice colorway too, you can wear with basically anything, just white, black, little hits of green. And uh, I'm very pleased that I picked these up. They're available for really good prices everywhere. If you guys go check, like you can get them for 40 to $60 now, they're all hitting clearance. So go check that out, highly recommend these guys. The Reebok Kamikaze Sonics. Moving on to the final day of the week on Sunday. Broke these guys out, Air Max Plus Tuned 1. It was raining outside for the majority of the day, so I wanted to wear something that wouldn't uh, suffer the adverse effects of water and these things are just like a nylon mesh so it's fine if you get these guys wet so this is what I decided to wear nice comfortable black silver shoe little hit of yellow on the back that wraps up this week's sneaker rotation guys hope you enjoyed hit that like button if you haven't already and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button for new sneaker videos every day until next time peace